So, welcome to day four of the uh, diamond painting vlog. I figured, oh, why look at my face when you can look at this cutie patootie sleeping on the floor? Uh, anyway, <laughs> today's going to be a good day. Uh, so, I am working. Uh, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. But uh, yeah, I am working right now. Uh, but I have like four and a half hours of meetings today, which means sometimes during those meetings, I have an opportunity to work on my diamond paintings. So I'm hoping that I have, you know, maybe an hour or two at least during those meetings to just relax and diamond paint while I listen in and contribute <laughs> ever so often. Anyway, um, oh goodness, goodness gracious. So yeah, I uh, I have a lot of stuff over there from uh, filming my stash video yesterday. So I'm hoping at some point today I can get that uh, edited and put in. Oh, we have a busy Monday. We have to mow the lawn. Um, I have to make dinner at some point. We have, uh, gosh, what else? I have some packages arriving today um, in the mail. So that's happening. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, what else? I can't, I can't remember what else. Oh, I have to film a whip and chat. It's, it's my Monday whip and chat. Oh, goodness. He's eating uh, something off the carpet. Hang on. It was one of his nails. He, he was trying to eat one of his nails off of the carpet. <laughs> You're so gross. Anyway. So, yeah, that's what's happening today. I want to film my whip and chat, mowing the lawn, cleaning up after all of my stash video, editing my stash video, and some unboxing. So, today might be a long one, y'all, but let's go. The ever so coveted paper. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll be in touch, y'all. Bye. So hi, hey, hello. Um, I've been working all day and I really thought that I was gonna have a chance to, um, you know, do some diamond painting during these meetings. And um, yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't had a single moment. But what I did do is I started uploading my stash video and that is gonna go live at 6 p.m. Central tonight. And I'm really excited about it. It's like 3.45 right now. I have another meeting in 15 minutes, but yeah, so I have not had a single moment to diamond paint during these meetings, but the stash video is going up. And I don't even know why I'm telling you this because you're going to see this after the stash video is going up, but I'm still really excited about it. So if you're watching this, you haven't seen the stash video, go over to that because that's way more fun than this is, even though this is fun. This is very fun, but stash videos, I'm just excited. It's finally going up. So I know what you think. <laughs> hey everybody. So it's nighttime. <laughs> We're finished with dinner and it's time to open some packages. We got some happy mail. So I have not one, not two, not three, but four packages to open tonight. <laughs> so these literally all came today. Uh, and you know, we've just been a little behind. If you hear some very loud, uh, banging noises, that is because I live in Chicago and people have decided that fireworks are a great idea, are a great idea the week before the 4th of July on a Monday night at 9.30 p.m. Because why? I don't know. It's me. Anyway, so this is a diamond painting kit from Distracted by Diamonds. And this is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this image, but this is the Pride Kitty. Isn't it cute? Oh my God, I hope you guys can see this. It is adorable. I am going to do a separate unboxing because this diamond painting kit, so they need, they need all the attention and all the love. But anyway, so 
I will wait and I'll unbox this separately. But what else? I'm gonna open the Amazon thing next. And then the other things, I might actually bring you guys down and show you like an overhead view. But this Amazon package, um, there's actually two things in here. One of them is not diamond painting related. <laughs> it's a, a strainer. Um, yeah, my other one broke and I use this sometimes. So we have a strainer. Again, not at all diamond painting related. <laughs> but what I did get is this little kit of um, diamond painting stickers. So um, these are not for me. They might be a little bit for me. Um, but this is them. So there's Marvel characters and then there's like Disney princess characters. Now I'd venture to say these probably aren't licensed at all. Uh, but you know, it is like pop art. I don't really know how this works. Like, I'm like, how does, legally, how does that work? But anyway, we are doing a diamond painting program for, um, for some teens at the local library. I say we, because I like basically asked my friend if I could do a diamond painting program. Um, so she is like a teen librarian and... I hate that these are folded. That bothers me. Um, but anyway, so here are all the Marvel characters. That is stinking cute. I liked the Loki one. There he is. There's Loki. I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. And Superman with his little curl. I don't know. Um, well, I guess Superman's not Marvel. That's DC. Interesting. It's just a weird mix anyway we got captain america we got we got all the things and then so it did come with like one of these um but what i planned on doing which this is going to take me a long time so i was like i better start now um so this program's not for another month but what i was going to do is separate out the stickers um and then the kids like can grab a kit that has all the colors that they need in the kit. So I'll have to like, I'll have to do some stuff. Like this is gonna take me a while to like, cause all the colors are all like separated. I'm gonna have to like combine them together in a little bag for each, each sticker. So that'll take a minute. Um, if you think of a better way to do that, let me know. <laughs> but anyway, let me turn the camera down and I'll show you the other two packages I got. Okay, so I'll start with this one here. Uh, this one is from uh, Randa's Crafty Corner and I swore that I wasn't going to do this, y'all. But I've heard a lot of people say good things about this scented wax in their multi-placers so I decided to give it a try. I'm going to move my sorry I'm, I'm reading the other like the instructions here. Um, there's It comes with instructions on how to load so I'm looking there's more stuff in here. Oh cute. Oh my God, are these tater tots? They're tater tots, y'all. And then some candy. That's cute. And then I think there should be three bags of putty here. So the first scent I got was cranberry and mandarin. I have to give them a a sniff. Ooh, that's nice. I like that smell a lot. So here's what the putty looks like. And it looks a lot and feels a lot like um, sticky tacky. So I do think I'm gonna like it because I use sticky tacky in my um, in my pens sometimes. And it, oh, it smells so nice. So that's why I took a chance on it because I don't buy waxes anymore because of the residue that they leave on drills. 
Um, I don't buy like homemade waxes anymore. I have been burned too many times, y'all. And I'm like, if it's this fussy and it leaves this much residue on your drills, why is it worth it? Like, it's not worth it. Anyway, the other two scents I got were Vanilla Cupcake and Hermione's Cauldron. So I just had to do it. Um, the Cranberry Mandarin smells exactly like you'd think. And I'm about to try the Vanilla Cupcake now, too. Not try, but <laughs> sniff. Yep, um, that smells like cake batter. <laughs> and I think they're all white. Like, I, I don't think they're colored. But, ooh, that smells nice. This one does. Smells just like, like if you're making cake batter, that's what it smells like. Okay, now I have to smell the other one. Because I love scented things. I smell everything. So, I like smelly things. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's very floral. Um, So, somebody else described this as floral. And I was like... Interesting. Yep, it smells very floral to me. It smells good. I like it. Um, so yeah, those are my three little waxes I got from Randa's Crafty Corner. I'm excited to try these. Not waxes, putty. I should say putty. They are not wax. They're putty. So yeah, that's that's those. And then I have this package, and this was a very interesting one. I'll admit. So this package was an impulse purchase on Etsy. I happened upon this person's shop and it is not one that I'd ever heard of before. I do like to support a small biz. So I bought three um, pens from this person. Oh, Laffy Taffy and Haichu. They know the way to my heart. Oh, pretty sticker. Oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, they're as pretty as I thought they'd be. And, <laughs> and a little double bubble, super bubble, double bubble? It used to be called double bubble when I was a kid. I don't know. Anyway, I got three pens, but I'm gonna show them to you one at a time. They're like packaged all three together, but. Um, so this person actually makes their pens um, out, hopefully you can, hear me with all that crinkling. This person makes their pens out of polymer clay and coats the pink pens, you know? The pink pens we all know and love to hate. Um, yeah, so this one is, what's called the unicorn something or other? I just realized I don't have a light on you guys. One sec. Well, that's probably better. How about that? Even better. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So there's this one. And it's just like, it's a it's a thicker pen without being too thick. And I really like that. So they make these by hand themselves. So it's like the pink pen underneath here, but then they coat it in polymer clay. That is pretty cool. So that's that pen. And then the multiplacer needs a little work. Um, but the name of this one um, was KNS Custom Pens. So um, I had never heard of them before and they were local to Illinois. So I was like, well, I'm gonna buy some. And then I got none other than a Christmas pen. <laughs> Because I love Christmassy things and I wanted a pen that was Christmassy for when I work on a Christmas kit and I just really liked this candy cane looking one. So I was like, that's pretty, I like it. So there's that one. And then of course, a lot of the Hufflepuff pens out there were way too expensive. And I really like what this one had going on. So I ordered a custom pen uh, that was, um black and yellow and it has all the little hufflepuff um emblems on there there's a badger and harry potter and platform nine and three quarters and it says hufflepuff on it and i love it so much it's beautiful i kind of like didn't know how it was going to turn out and just said hey just do black and yellow and um Put some Harry Potter things on it and make it Hufflepuff. Thanks. <laughs> so this is really cute. 
and I really like it. And they're nice and light. They're not heavy. Um, yeah. So this one was from KNS Custom Pens on Etsy. And then this was from Randa's Crafty Corner. Um, yeah. So that's everything that I got today. And I'll actually show you this too in case this didn't come out clear before. Here is the um, Pride Kitty by Puffy Gator um, of the, the Distracted by Diamonds kit that I bought. So I will, like I said, probably do an unboxing of this one. I want to do it before the end of June because Pride. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy. Uh, I don't know why I said enjoy, because you won't be able to view it now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's all I got for the rest of tonight. I'm going to try to get some more diamond painting done and get this vlog out before midnight. Hope y'all are having a great day. Bye. So I just wanted to hop on here really quick and share with you my experience. Um, so I am working with the putty now. And it is a dream with multi-placing. I mean, you can kind of see that there. It's like perfectly molded and it's been great. Absolutely no residue on the drills. So I'll pick up a few here and just kind of show you. It's fantastic. Love it. Now, um, the single placer with it in the single placer, I'm hoping you can kind of see... You can sort of see that residue there. Not residue, but like the spillover, I guess. And this is even after using it for a while. Um, and I did notice it kind of strung onto my like diamonds. I don't know. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. But yeah, you can kind of see it on the outside edge of the pen there. And then when I like try to take it off, it kind of, it just kind of strings a little. I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's not my favorite for the single placer i will say that but um it is not the worst thing i've ever used um and it does have that nice satisfying pop <laughs> um and i but i really really like it for the multi placer um and it kind of solves some of the issues i was having with the multi placer um I use pink wax in my multi-placer and it works just fine, but I will say sometimes the residue will get in my tray, like in between the little lines, like on the lines of my tray, and then it'll make it so that my diamonds don't line up great. So I will say that uh, the lack of residue, like multi-placing with this is really nice. Um, so I think, I think I have a winner, folks. I like this a lot. Yay, Randa's Crafty Corner. I'm glad I trusted my instinct on putty versus wax. <laughs> so if you're interested in getting this, I say glue dots in your single placer is my favorite. And then, oh, I just realized my phone stand is kind of in this. Um, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. Glue dots in your single placer. Randa's putty in your multi-placer or pink wax in your multi-placer. But I think I might like the Randa's putty even better. So 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> anyway, I've also just decided to use my new pen. This one was called Unicorn Dust, by the way. Um, and I really like it. It's really great. I'm, I'm a fan. It's not too chunky, but I like the chunky pens too. So anyway, okay. I'm going to get back to work. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to start tomorrow's vlog, but it's almost midnight and I did finally finish this section and just kind of put my mind to it, did it. Um, so, so much confetti in this kit. It is definitely taking me, taking me a while, <laughs> but I'm happy that I got that done and uh, hopefully work on one of these sections tomorrow. We'll see. But um, yeah, just wanted to share where I got to today and uh, hope you have a great day whenever you're seeing this. Okay, bye.